Hey there guys, my name's Hei Chen, welcome back. Today we're playing another full-on RPG fantasy-based game with 24k likes on the top 10 of Media Molecule's most favorite games on Dreams by far, Heroes of Aldenor Co-op Fantasy RPG Beta Build, made by Dark Essence as the description reads. Take up arms as Garving the Rogue, Vince the Knight, or Tristan the Sorceress, in their quest to combat their past, present, and their futures. Currently in test and build, please support any books if you find them. So if you guys do enjoy, hit the like button, go subscribe if you're brand new. And if you'd like a part two of me playing Heroes of Alderaan, let me know. But apart from that, enjoy the video. Alright, let's see what we've got. Okay, oh. Oh. That is a sinister laugh. Oh, hello. Okay, start game. Let's do this. Well, that opening scene was beautiful. That was gorgeous. Okay. Prologue. Oh. Unlikely allies. Oh. Garvin, so, what do you think the reward will be for this little crown's revival stint? Tristan, is that truly all you think about, thief? This is important business. My name's Garvin, and of course I do. We aren't all well off like you, the king's favourite knight here. Ex-knight, and this will be my last quest for the king. I only wish you told me that I'd end up as some part of Chaperone. I might have reconsidered. Enough, both of you. Once we're finished here, we can go our separate ways. Now, let us get ready. The sooner I can get back to my estate, the better. <laughs> Just a long stare at each other. Okay, right, who are we gonna pick? So, we got Vince. His health is quite high. His attack is kind of 50-50. His defense is very, very high. Mobility is very little. A knight with expertise in battle on the front lines, keeping enemies at bay with his defense and utility skills. Then we've got Garvin. Uh, his health, it's okay. His attack is very good, his defense is very little, his mobility is very, very high. A rogue with all dexterity and cunning you'd expect. Definitely moving in and out of combat, dealing high single target damage. Then we have got Tristan. Uh, her health? Uh, it's okay. Attack? Fair enough. Defense? Meh. Her mobility is a little bit there. A sorcerer has the ability to channel elements through magic, shifting the tides of their battle in her favor with an array of crowd control and spells. And I think we are going to go with her. Let's do this. Make your way through the forest. All right. Let's go. What does this tip board have to say? Oh. Campfires and rest zones act as checkpoints. They replenish your health and energy points over time, since these do not regenerate automatically. Food and water skin can apply separate buffs that regenerate energy and health over time. Okay, well let's remember that then. Well-fed status will regenerate your health after consuming three meals. Quenched status will regenerate your energy after drinking three water skins. Health and ether potions will restore a larger sum at once. These are all shared by the party, so use sparingly. 
So since we're just going to be playing on our own, this will be pretty much okay then, won't it? So... Our health and that's pretty much okay, so we don't really need to have any of that, do we? Controls! Alright, we've got some very laid out controls. Our first reactions, they get you nice and comfy into the game with these controls. They tell you what you need to do, basically. And the controls nice and easily. So, right, when you look at that, that's pretty simple. Like, there's no other way you're going to put that. Alright, so we've got basic controls of jumping, X, sprinting, triangle, square, interacting stuff, cancel, circle, consumables, uh, quest marker, fireball, nice ball, attack, uh, average fireball, lightning burst. Okay. I like that. Oh, that is cool. Fireball! That is cool. Oh, that is cool! Oh, I like that. Right. An ice wall. Alright, let's do this. The Kamiri Forest. Okay. Tip board. Enemies are designed with noise detection based on a player run speed, as well as sight detection. Only Garvin can sneak behind enemies. Well, we're not playing as him, so, oh well. Spend energy wisely. Basic attack regenerate a small bit of energy on hit, but not on loan to sustain you. Because of its nature, the game uses soft targeting system instead of lock-on as its design. Attack an enemy's general direction or momentarily look accuracy. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna fight these guys. Yes, slides. You don't understand me. Ah. Wow. 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 Got you. Ha ha ha. You don't stand nothing on me. I'm wondering if we could change our character over time. Or, unless, when you start the game, if you decide to play with other people, then you you can't, but... Uh, quest marker. Let's have a look at the quest marker. Okay, I don't really know what it's doing, but... Alright, who steals the crown and trails this far out into the woods anyways? Ah. Okay. What is in here? Hello. Okay. Got 83 coin. That is not bad. Um. Lightning burst. So I'm guessing the way that we fight is literally with spells. Okay. Okay. Uh. We could literally just stand right over here and she, he's not going to know it. Okay. <laughs> what about this guy? She have to stand in the right place. <laughs> what the hell? Where did he go? Okay, I think we broke the game. Let's just move on. Oh god, that was awkward as anything. <laughs> nice one! Yes! I like how we don't actually use this stuff for anything apart from the ice wall attack and everything. That is the most weirdest thing about this. Okay. What have we got here? Oh, we've got those two with us. Because technically they would be with us, but since I'm playing on my own, it only shows Tristina at the minute. So, this is where they run off to. It certainly doesn't look very inviting. Were you expecting a welcome mat? 
No one guarding the entrance, no lookouts. Strange. Which likely means something is amiss. I don't like this. You don't like a lot of things, I gather. Nonsense. I like it when you're quiet. Enough, you two. The more you argue, the longer this will take. Let's proceed with caution. When did he become the leader of this group? <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, okay. So we get to select our characters. You know what? We'll go with something a little bit different. We'll go with Vince on this one. So every chapter of this game, I'm guessing we'll be able to choose which character we'll be able to play. Which I sort of like. I'm not going to lie. I like how they give you a little bit of a switch up if you're playing on your own or maybe with a friend or two. I'm quite happy that they do that. All right. Oh, God. What happened here? Well, it looks like you got some thieves that didn't exactly end up in a nice place. Alright, so what are the controls for him? Okay, so shield stance, L2, provoke, L1, sword and shield, R2, stalwart slash. Okay. Jesus, that was noisy. Oh, they're all dead. I feel like we're going to have a boss fight on our hands. Oh, and the crown is right there. But what makes that crown so special? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, we're going to be in a boss fight. It's a big empty room. I just, I just know it. I just know it. Alright, so what do we do? Do we just get the crown? Okay. Truly, the king won't notice the missing jewel. We'll say a bandit took it. Remove one stone from that crown and I'll remove the breath from your lungs. Jesus, okay. Well, you heard her. Just grab the crown. We're finished here. By the gods, you two run. A north and a all. Okay. What is that? Oh, Jesus. What is that? That is what I'm thinking. It's like some demon creature. Oh, this would be good if we had the... Oh, is that it? Oh! They leave on such a cliffhanger! Oh my god, that was brilliant! Anyways, guys. Oh, well, I guess that's it then. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, go subscribe. But apart from that, if you'd like a part two when they release more, let me know. But apart from that, I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.